Hello, my name is Jerry. I write and illustrate books for children. This is a new book called Puffling and the Egg, which I've illustrated, and it's written by Erica McGann. Here on the cover, we can see Puffling, and Puffling is in another drawing video on my channel. This video, we are going to draw a seal. There's a seal here. Maybe you've seen seals around the coast in the sea, bobbing their heads up or sitting on the rocks. Okay, this is gonna be easy. So seals were also in Puffling's first adventure, Where Are You Puffling? Now in this video, we're going to draw the seal's head here and then the body will be going over that way. So if you'd like to get a piece of paper and put it long ways like this, and your markers, pencils, whatever you'd like to use. Okay, so let's start off with the seal's head. It's gonna be a nice curvy shape, going up, and then curving back down again. Curve, 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 round to the front, front of the seal's body. Then we keep curving down to here. It's gonna stop about there. Now let's just go onto her back so we can get more of her body shape onto the page. So let's start with the line curving again, going across and then down, just like this. Okay, so that's the seal's back. Now, we'll move on to her face. So we'll start off with her eyes, two circles, two round eyes. Put one here. And then the other eye here. And the seal is going to be looking in our direction. She's watching us. <laughs> okay, so seals have nostrils, which are pretty big. Put in a shape like that for one. And then the other will be the same. Going the other way. Now we can put in the seal's mouth. A nice curve like this. Look, she's really coming alive now. And then up, like that, the other side. Okay, also on their mouth they have, let's put in the underside of the mouth. A little U shape, like that. Like a letter U. Also, she will have whiskers. So if you've ever seen seals, maybe you've seen them in the zoo. Sea lions, they're related. They have whiskers, just like a dog or a cat has whiskers. Like that. Okay, now what would be down here? You know how they move around? They have big flippers. So we're gonna have a flipper on this side coming down and then curve back a bit, because it's flat there. And then we're going to Curve it around a bit and then back up to her body, like there. Okay, now the other flipper, we wouldn't see all of it because it's behind, it's on the other side, but we can put in a little. You see, just a little bit there. Okay, so then to finish over here, we're going to put in a line going up to uh, where there's not, it's not like a tail, but there's little bits, little shapes like this, there, just behind her back. Now, the seals have really thick, blubbery skin. We can show that by putting in a couple of lines there, quite thick, they're very heavy. They can swim brilliantly in the water, but when they're on the land, on the rocks, they are a bit clumsy, <laughs> if you've ever seen them walking with their, with their two flippers. Uh, dragging themselves around. Now, they have spots. Do you know why? Because it's a kind of camouflage. Loads of animals like to hide and blend in to where they are living. So where seals are, it's usually a darky brown colors or grays on the rocks, seaweeds are brown, and uh, they have all these different colors on spots so they're quite difficult to, to see the seals when they're so well camouflaged. Okay, so there's our seal. We can show that she's on those rocks. Uh, we're putting some shapes behind her here, some rocks. 
maybe a, a little bit of seaweed. You could spend time painting on seaweed or even just cutting out strips of paper. That would be like seaweed. And there is our seal. And I'm just thinking on her back, she might have a little friend who is who's visiting. Let's just see. You can draw this as well if you'd like. A little bit extra. Maybe you can just guess who this is. Any ideas? I'm putting two eyes here. That might be a giveaway. Smiling. Now, maybe you can tell these legs a few legs and holding up pinchers and the claws yeah it's a crab it's a crab it was running up the seals back <laughs> okay well done everyone if you'd like to share your drawing you can ask grown-up to add on the hashtag puffling and the egg bye